Pacific Northwest is hailed for its beautiful, sun-drenched summers. Its winters are beloved, too, by ski and snowboard enthusiasts alike. But the in-between of fall brings less notoriety as the rainy season begins. For me, there's nothing like a cozy cabin in the woods on a rainy fall day, especially if you can bring along a furry friend. I booked a dog-friendly deluxe cabin at Fort Stevens State Park for a Wednesday in late October and recruited Oregonian reporter Kale Williams to join me and videographer Vicki Connor, Come on, girl, jump. who brought along her dog Stella for our one-night stay. Hey girl, ready for a trip? Alright, what are you going to say back there? I'm ready. I think, no. she, I think no, she's ready too. Ready. <laughs> All right. While the morning weather was clear, forecasts showed plenty of rain was in our future. So we hopped in and got going in hopes that we'd have a clear patch of weather for a little fun on the beach. Fort Stevens is about a two-hour drive from Portland, located at the northernmost tip of the Oregon coast. We are headed to Fort Stevens State Park to check out a deluxe cabin where our friend Stella is allowed to hang out. And we're gonna go hang on the beach, make some good food, at least decent food, Kale, and uh, get a little chill time here in uh, kind of rainy fall weather. We stopped for groceries in the city of Astoria and caught a glimpse of the Astoria Megler Bridge, which opened in 1966, the nation's longest continuous truss bridge. Then, as the rain came down, we made our way through the park and to the cabin. This is us. Nestled between moss-covered trees was our humble home for the night. At 4,300 acres, Fort Stevens bills itself as one of the nation's largest public campgrounds, and it's home to hundreds of campsites, 15 yurts, and 11 deluxe cabins. The cabin and yurt accommodations, like those in other Oregon State Parks, appeal to campers looking to get out of the elements, especially during the cold and rainy months. Oh, it looks deluxe enough for me. We found a parking pad in front of our cabin and a ramp that led to a covered porch and entryway. All right, Stella, so you ready for this? Whoa, the cabin is broken into two rooms? Deluxe. The cabin was perfect. There was a small kitchenette, living room, flat screen TV, one bedroom and a bathroom, and there was heat in each room. All we needed to bring was our own bedding, and we were set. Uh, I kind of placed a claim on Top Block earlier. I don't, know. I don't know if that's scandalous. I think I can say you can this is This is cool. I mean, you almost don't even know anybody else is around. You don't. Except for maybe that cabin over there. But we'll look this way. Once we settled in, it was time to hit the beach, which was just a few minute drive from our cabin. It was cloudy and rainy, but we didn't mind. Neither did Stella. We walked along the beach and found the shipwreck remains of the Peter Iredale. The once 275-foot steel-hulled sailing ship was bound for Portland in 1906 when it struck shore. Only remnants remain, and it continues to erode over time. I have never seen it before. Uh, it's very cool. I will say it is lesser than what I had seen in photos. Yeah. Well, I've been here once before, and I will say the tide was much lower. Yeah. So that there was probably at least 100 yards of sand uh. between the wreck and the waves. It's still cool. That's the only shipwreck I can recall seeing. We played with Stella on the beach a bit more, letting her get some road trip energy out. <laughs> then it was time to get back to the cabin and start dinner. Can we bring a, a cutting board out here? The cabin had an outdoor grill, so Kale cooked up some brats and veggies. Oh yeah, those are ready to roll. Yeah. Our dinner was excellent. Yes, sir. And we finished off the night with a fruit tart for dessert. That's a good tart. Yeah, that's a smart food. Yeah, so. Eventually, we made our way to bed. Uh, top bunk line. Uh, all right, deal. And called it a night. The morning called for even more rain. 
So we made coffee on the covered porch and enjoyed the serenity from our dry cabin haven. Man, not a bad night's sleep in this deluxe little cabin, was it? Deluxe. Uh, I got my back straightened out a little bit, there I think, go. which is good. Yep. And probably slept more hours than I sleep on a normal night. Yeah, it felt a little bit like summer camp, kind of. I think the move today is kind of scurry toward home because it's looking a little on the rainy side here. Yeah, it's not too cold, but it is pouring. I think that's a good call. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Then we packed up, cleaned the cabin, and motored home through the rain after a relaxing reset in the woods.